Welcome back to another episode of Black Facts. Today, we're going to be talking about Black wellness. And I'd like to welcome my special guest, James Woods. He's a wellness speaker and trainer and a certified yoga instructor and also a marriage and family therapist. Welcome, James. Thank you so much for joining us on Black Facts today. Thank you so much for having me, Michelle. I really appreciate being here. Love what you're doing. Oh, thank you. Thank you. So I've always heard throughout the years that yoga is medicine and it has the power to heal. Can you please explain to us what is yoga? Yoga is a practice. It's an ancient practice derived from the ancient Egyptians and moved down into the Indus Valley in India, where we know it and more familiar with it today. A practice all about helping to connect ourselves, meaning connect ourselves mentally and physically. So the monks and the sages and the wise people back then, they realized like, hey, when I'm present with myself, when I'm connected with myself, I feel good. When I'm moving, when I'm breathing, when I'm staying focused on what's happening around me, I feel good. And it goes beyond just feeling good to a point of just feeling alive. And of course, nowadays where we don't get a lot of movement, we don't get a lot of time to think with ourselves. We don't have a lot of time even to take to breathe. It's huge and important to be able to have that healing process go on. So it heals us by kicking in what's already natural in our body. Our desire and our need to move, our desire and our need to be oxygenated, our blood oxygenated, and to focus on one thing. So our bodies were designed to move, our bodies were designed to breathe. And a lot of times that has just been cut off in the world. So yoga helps us to open ourselves back up to how our body is naturally supposed to operate and feel good and heal a lot of the diseases and the health and wellness issues that come from stagnation, come from poor diet, and come from just being distracted. So yoga is a practice of pausing. Yoga is a practice of presence. Yoga is a practice of getting back to yourself, the breathing, mindfulness, and movement. Wow, thank you. Um, okay, so you said a lot, but I want to ask you, so um, why would you say yoga is a good outlet for the Black community, considering, you know, daily we um, deal with overt racism, the emotional stress and trauma that we're experiencing from all of the deaths um, from COVID? How, how can we use, um, you know, yoga to help heal us? Michelle, I don't know if you can hear the lawnmower or whatever in the background but it's a distraction to me okay being a black man there's so many things that distract me from what i'm trying to do so many things that try to take me away from who i authentically am and a lot of those things within our system are aimed at making black people feel less than which is a, a total distraction a total just taking us off our route to just be the best we can be Issues in the community, poverty, economics, education, health and wellness, these are all things that impact us. Now, it's those are things that's gonna take us off of our route. But being able to have a practice that you don't need to look outside for, that you don't need to actually pay for, that you don't have to get all these skills and tools and everything for, that you just use your natural self, helps me bring me and help other black, black people come back to just your natural healthy self. So I hear, the lawnmower, whatever it is outside, but I take a breath, I relax, I'm able to come back to myself, my focus. So yoga is something that is, you can do it for free. Yoga is something that doesn't require a whole bunch of materials. Yoga is something that just helps you to connect with your body. Yoga is something that as black people, we can definitely build our own thing within. I went to a black yoga class uh, maybe about two weeks ago. And we had the music playing, we had the sayings of our culture, we had just different styles and the energy. It's something that we can take and we can customize and culture, culture, culturalize, whatever that word is, for ourselves. So yoga is impactful and can be very impactful for black people because of those important things. You can start today, it doesn't cost you anything and it taps into a great resource that we have had and that we have been ignoring, honestly, for a long time, which is the resources within ourselves. So research shows that stress causes illness in the body. And I think we all know that. Um, so can you walk me through some yoga practices? Um, we can have our little mini virtual session 
um, that you can share with me and the viewers on how we can help ourselves um, deal with stress? Yes, I appreciate it. I appreciate you being open to yoga and the practice of it. I think it's very powerful for folks to add on to something that you're already doing for your health and wellness or say, hey, it's time for me to make those changes and those adjustments to get my mind right, get my body right, as we say. So the first and most important thing that I learned in yoga was about the breath. All right, so I get into this yoga class and at first it took a while for me to get there because yoga and I'm a black man, black men don't do yoga. That was my mindset. Finally, my supervisor at my job told me, hey, you should try out yoga. You're after you do all this kind of stuff, go try it out. I'm thinking, okay, I'm gonna get in there. I'm gonna be able to touch my toes, bend a little bit, stretch a little bit. Awesome. I get in there and the first thing that hits me is the smell. Ooh, it was funky in there. Sweat yoga mats, feet, all those different things that we try to avoid. It smells like a locker room. Or <laughs> I get in there, I look around, who is stank. But I see people kind of just rolling out their mats and I play it cool, all right, I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna enjoy myself. I get on the mat, I look around and I realize I'm the youngest person in there probably by about 30 years. It's my wow. people in there. And then I realize I'm the only man. So I'm like, okay, what is this gonna be? I sit down, get on the mat, and the first thing they start off with is just breathing. I'm like, I came here to stretch, I came here to move with this breathing stuff. But we started doing this breathing and I immediately had a reaction. I like to always share the impact of breathing with folks that we start with the beginning of yoga. We do it every day, we breathe it right now. But breathing in a way that is diaphragmatic, which engages the whole body. Breathing in a way that is relaxing, that is conscious and that helps to oxygenate us. So just as Michelle is sitting on the floor, legs is crisscross applesauce, her shoulders are relaxed, her back is tall, her chin is level. She is able to breathe deeply into her belly, breathe into her diaphragm, yep, all the way down. So as she breathes in, her belly expands like a big red balloon, filling up with oxygen. And then as she breathes out, the belly collapses, the belly button goes back towards the spine, and the shoulders start to relax, the face starts to relax, things start to soften out. So we're going to take three of these deep belly diaphragmatic breaths. And we're going to breathe in and out of our nose, the nostrils, unless you have to see congestion. When we breathe in and out of our nose, it sends a signal to our brain that it's time to relax, calm down, and release. Our parasympathetic nervous system kicks in, and it sends a calm through the body. On the count of three, I'm gonna start with a deep inhale and then a long, slow exhale. Make sure you extend that exhale. Take time with the exhale. Focus on the exhale, feel through the nose. On the count of three, we start. One, two, three. Inhale deeply through the nose, fill the belly up, the lungs, and then slowly exhale, releasing the belly, Release the lungs, feel the chest, start to relax. Good. Let's take two more of those. Deep inhale, feel the chest, the lungs, the belly. Long, slow exhale through the nose, relaxing, releasing. Let the body soften and the mind calm. One more deep inhale, breathe in through the nose, draw the oxygen in. Draw the nutrients and breathe in. Exhale slowly, releasing the toxins, the stress, the worry, the doubt. Good. Tap back into your normal breathing rhythm. Has anything changed or shifted in your mind or your body? Just take a notice observation. No judgment, no critique, just notice. The connecting piece of yoga is the breath. So now we connect that breathing with the movement. We create union that helps to relax and give the body in presence. So let's start with the shoulders. I'm going to take these two heavy shoulders. As I inhale, I'm going to roll them up, bring them up towards my ears. Stretch, stretch. Good. And then as I exhale, I'm going to roll them back and down. 
I'm going to start from the side as I'm sitting in the chair. And Michelle sitting up on the ground. Inhale, shoulder roll. Squeeze at the top. Exhale, back and down. Good. Inhale. Woo. Exhale. Good. I first learned about breathing from my grandmother. She takes a big breath and says, Woo. <laughs> releasing that stress, releasing that tension. I didn't know she was doing yoga then. Let's take a deep inhale, keeping our body moving with our breath and bring both hands up. Good. So I'm sitting in a chair. I have support on my back. And Michelle is using the strength in her back to support. And I'm going to pull my arms up. Good. And then drop them down and relax my shoulders. My palms are facing each other. My chest is rising. Get my spine stretched up. Good. I want to see if I can pull my chest, pull my spine up even taller. Get up, get up, get up. Good. I'm going to take my left hand and drop it down to the left side. Now, Michelle is going to place her left hand down on the left side. She's going to be sliding on the ground and start to lean over. Woo! Do that stretch along the side there. I'm going to just drop my left hand down towards the ground. I'm going to be out towards the ground just to feel that stretch on the right side here. If you want to, you can bring that right arm towards the right ear. We're going to be here for three. Stretch. Three, 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 three. If you're sitting down like a chill, relax, back, and right hip. Good. Good. Inhale it slowly, then both hands up into the sky with control, breath. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Palms together, exhale to bring those palms down. Breathe out, palms coming together. Shoulders relax. Two sides of the body. Let's do the same thing on the side. Inhale, both hands reach and rise. Full oh, body lifting, breathing. Exhale, my right hand comes down to my right side. Good. And if you want to, Michelle, you can bend that right elbow and come down to your right elbow. That's in your practice. It's not so tight. You can bring that left arm over to that ear. And you feel your ribs open up. You feel your lower back. You feel your abdominals. Feel my in love handles right here. Good. Stretch, stretch, stretch. One more breath. Breathe in. Maybe go a little bit more. Relax the head. Relax the neck. Woo. Relax that left knee and left hip. Good. Inhale slowly coming up. Both hands reach up to the sky. I'm going to show you from the side. Michelle, we're going to bring our arms back behind our ears. Stretch back. Bring the chest up. And then bring those arms down. Chest up. Oof. Chin to the sky if that feels good for stretching the whole body. Good. Nice. Dropping the hands down. And coming back forward. That's a good Saturday morning stretch. You know, you don't have to go to work. One more time. Let's inhale. Bring both hands up into the sky. Reach up, stretch up. Now, Michelle is going to fall over her cross legs. She's going to extend her arms and fall over, moving over. I am going to fall over in my chair, sitting in my chair. I'm leaning over my legs, falling forward, reaching towards the ground. Michelle is relaxing her chin towards her chest, from her stretch the back and neck. She's getting long in the spine as she keeps her tailbone down, keeps her butt down on the ground, and feel that stretch along her back. Now, if Michelle wants more, she can walk her hands out away from her and feel that stretch. If I want more, I can reach down towards the ground more. I'm stretching my spine. I'm stretching my hips. Good. Stretching my legs. Good. I'm going to slowly start to roll up. Inhale. Slowly roll up. Walking those hands back. Michelle, walking them back nice and slow. Good. And let's do a shoulder roll here. Inhale. And the shoulders up. And then exhale. Roll back and down. Good. I'm going to take my left ear and gently drop it over to my left shoulder. Mm. Mm. Feel that tension and tightness in the right side of my neck. Good. Inhale, slowly bring the head back to center. Breathe in. Exhale. Drop the shoulder. Drop that right ear towards the right shoulder. Breathe in. Learn to accept. <sighs> Your body relaxing. A lot of times we want to fight relaxation and force and push things. Just relax. Take it easy. You deserve it. 
Inhale slowly, bring the head back to center. Good. Now, Michelle, you can stretch your legs out. Send those legs straight out in front of you. Good. And if you're in your chair like I am, I'm going to send my legs out. Good. If I have my legs straight out, and then I drop them down onto the ground. I can scoop down to the edge of my chair. Good. Or I can stay back. Michelle, you're going to bring both hands up into the sky. Reach up, stretch up. Nice. And then, Michelle, you're going to lean forward, fall forward over your legs. Nice and slow for a new stretch. Curl those toes back, reaching back with the toes, leaning forward with the hands. Relax your shoulders. Relax your chest. Relax your head and your neck. We're only here for three. Breathe deep into the belly. Still get that belly breath going. Two. Relax in the shoulders. And one. Good. Inhale, slowly start to roll up once again, taking care of that tight back from sitting up in a chair all day, laying in bed all day, driving those cars all day. Let's do a shoulder roll here because it feels good. Inhale. And then exhale, relax back and down. Shake it out. Good. Now, the most important part of yoga is the peace of mind part. It looks good to bend, it looks good to be flexible, it feels good, but you feel like gaining a sense of peace of mind. And one of the quickest ways to do that is becoming present and using the breath as a tool to do so. So we're gonna close out with a brief mindfulness practice. Mindfulness is just the practice of paying attention to what's going on within you right now. Not thinking about the future, what might happen, not thinking about the past, what did happen, but being right now in the present. So we're gonna get grounded. That means for Michelle, her shoulders relax, her back is still tall. She feels her seat bones pressed into the ground, her legs are relaxed. Face softens, mind goes to the breath. Your focus is on the rise and the fall of the breath in your lungs, in your chest, in your belly, in your low back. Your focus is on softening the shoulders, relaxing the eyes, softening through the arms, elbows, relaxing the wrists, arms, and fingers. Let your gravity take over in the hips and the knees. Feeling the support of the ground or the chair. Softening the back. Relaxing the neck. Breathing. Hmm. And letting go of the jaw. Relaxing the tension. Relax the sides of the skull, the top of the skull, the forehead. Breathe. Relax. Release. Slowly. Just bring our arms into our palms together, into our chest. And just take a second to enjoy the peace you created within yourself by being here, breathing here, and letting go of whatever was not for you in this moment. So yoga, we use the word namaste to close out. Namaste being the real in me, recognize the real in you, the love, the peace, the light, the joy. It's a way of saying hello, goodbye, and I'll see you next time. So as always, feel free to feel free, and namaste. Namaste. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, James. Thank you so much. Yoga is so beautiful. And I just want to let our viewers know you can do it in a group or you can do it individually. Um, but what really matters is, is you, you take some time for yourself to enjoy this practice. And don't worry about you know your form, like James said. Worry about your breath. Concentrate on your breath and bringing peace and centering yourself. 
that's going to help you relieve stress. And that's going to make sure that we are not inviting illness, chronic disease, mental health challenges into our system. We want to make sure that, um, you know, yoga is not a cure all for everything, but we want to make sure that we're doing something each day to bring about wellness into our life. Because there's so many things going on, so many things that we're dealing with as it relates to, like I said, racism, um, just trauma from um, all of these deaths that we're experiencing in our lives as a result of COVID and just daily emotional stress that we go through. So I just wanna invite all of you all to try yoga, all of my viewers, try it. You can do it virtually, you can do it in person, um, but just try it. I promise you, your mind and your body will thank you for it. I just wanna thank all of my viewers for tuning in. I wanna thank James again so much. You have um, really provided us with some wonderful practices that we can do, like you said, at home, um, in our office. So thank you for giving us different options on, we can do it sitting down like I am or in um, a chair. I really appreciate you, um, like I said, helping us learn ways in which we can alleviate stress in our lives. All of us experience it, but we need to start working on ways that we can alleviate it or deal with it, you know, our coping mechanisms so that we can ensure, like I said, that we're not inviting illness into our body. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Black Facts. If you have any questions or suggestions on show topics for Black Facts, please email us at blackfactsphacts at gmail.com. Also follow us on Black Facts at Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And subscribe to our new YouTube channel so you can keep up to date on upcoming episodes. Join me for the next time for another engaging conversation. And let's know the facts.